All right, you guys, we are back in Card Shop Simulator. It is day 15, did a little bit off camera, just to kind of, sort of, hopefully get us closer to level 20, which is the next kind of break point. Um, this episode, I would like to hire somebody. I did buy the next game, board games, um, making a decent profit on it. I mean, cost us about $25, give or take. So that's pretty good profit if they sell. I don't know if they'll sell or not, so I guess we'll have to find out. But a lot of this episode is just going to be exactly what you see here. Just doing checkouts, keeping stuff stocked. But I will bring you guys back once we actually get into progression, like hiring people. Maybe we'll make enough this episode to unlock this back room so we can actually store some stuff so yeah um i'll see you guys here in a minute all right well we've made a little bit of money let's go ahead and hire zachary cole because well that's an achievement and why not wouldn't hurt to have someone stocking the shelves while we're stuck doing this next big purchase is going to be these sprayers the automatic ones put them by the door we should be good to go. Probably going to need two of them so that they're actually effective. Do one like right there and then one over here. and We should be all right. Where's this guy at? Is he just hanging out out here? I think that's him down there coming to work in the blue shirt. All right. We'll wait for him to get here. See you here? Hey, hey you. Yep. Restock the shelves. Uh, well, I don't have any shelves with no labels on them, but I don't want you putting random stuff everywhere, so... No. It's just exactly what I'm talking about. This guy just went outside to get that box, even though we have a box here that's already open, just to stock one on these shelves. Ugh. Alright. All right, it is nine o'clock, shop's finally closing. Our guy goes home right at nine o'clock, so kind of useless. There is a mod to make it to where they stay until you flip the shop close sign, but eh, it is what it is. See, this is what I'm talking about. Why are all these boxes here? And I want to buy two of them. It's only going to leave us with $200, but we're all stocked up. I think we'll be just fine. We'll put one right there, and the other one can go like right there. So now as soon as they walk in, they're getting sprayed. Um. Okay, that's almost a full can. That'll be fine. Let's fill this up. All right, now we shouldn't have to worry about that, and we'll get the, well, eventually, we will get the, where is it, 500 smelly customers just kind of passively. I think the next one we need to go for, because once we hit shop 20, we can unlock the legendary card packs, and hopefully by then we'll have enough money to actually get the other shop. And we're passively working on customers playing in the shop and manually working on checking out a thousand customers. I don't know how close we are to that, but yeah, it's going to be a little bit of a grind. So we may as well get the next day started. What is this? Oh, the purple cards. That's right. All right. Let's get the next day started. Hey, we actually made profit. Kind of. Not much, but a little bit. So, take what we can get. Let's go ahead and get the shop open. Our guy should be coming to work any time now. You'd think he'd be here before the shop opens, but it is what it is. Go ahead and kick on the light. Do we have enough money to pay our bills? Um, A few of them. So I guess we'll do that and that, and then almost enough for that one. 
What? Oh no, I forgot to turn these on. Damn. Alright, gotta go spray this guy. Is that the only one that snuck in? Nope, this guy. Just stand in there with that blank look on your face. Holy cow, did this guy bite all of them? Damn. Oh, we got a stinky coming in. See if he gets sprayed. Double spray. Does the trick. Nice. Alright. The day is over. We made a little bit of money. Not great. But what I do want to do since the new update just dropped. Do we have play mats unlocked? Oof. Those are expensive. I think we'll buy them. Um... Unit price is $9.49, so they probably sell for about $15, if I had to guess. And then I think we're going to come up here, and we're going to buy the red dice. Just to kind of change it up a little bit. Cleared out two shelves right here, so we should be good there. I think we can only hold like eight. Yeah, okay, that's fine. All right, and these are the mats. How many can we hold here? All 16. Noted. Got it. All right. So these sell for 17 a piece and these for 20. I was actually wrong on that. Okay. But apparently the the new update that just came out like yesterday, I think it was, something like that, day before yesterday, maybe is the people that come in and play will actually use the mats, but only the mats that you sell. So, I don't know. We'll, we'll see if it works. I know it was bugged a little bit where they intended it to be only the mats that you have unlocked will be used, but when they first released the update, and they've hotfixed it since, but when they first released the update, they were coming in with all the different mats it looked really cool so all right i think we're good to go let's go ahead and i can click the right button oh all right kind of run low on duplicates need two more um that one all right we're getting down to the bottom of the barrel Hard value wise. Yeah, I guess uh, just go ahead and end the day. All right, new day, new day, new items on the shelf, and we should, oh, uh, Probably should have moved all these shelves down a little bit because we're going to need a new shelf here in a minute. That's right. We'll sort that out when it comes to it because uh, we're pretty close to level 20 up here. And at level 20, we unlock the red packs, the legendary packs. As long as we've got $2,000, which I don't see it being an issue I mean, I've got a bunch of extra cards I can just quick sell. Like, we're not going to be able to mark them up, but we at least sell them for market value. So, think we'll be okay. Actually, if I get a quick lull in the action here. All right, let's open this up. Sort by price. Still got our good ones. All right. Let's go ahead and hotkey that. $1,200. So we're at two grand now. So I think we'll be okay. Depends on how much stock I'm going to have to buy during the day. See, there we go. They're using the pads. 
even though they haven't bought any they're using them so that's pretty cool and i'm i'm halfway tempted just to fire that guy like if i gotta come out here and do his job for him anyways then yeah you know what you're terminated sorry bud hey there we go level 20 nice So now, so that to them, we've got $3,000. Let's go ahead and unlock these ones. It's another one. And then, yeah, we'll buy two boxes of those. Why not? All right, let's pick up this mess. Um... You know, I'll do the organization after shop closes, but right now let's just buy another shelf. All right. Now we got those ones stocked. Go ahead and hotkey that. Those packs sell for $11 each. That's pretty good. Now right, let's open a few of these. some decent cards in there hey that's a good one all right we are gonna well i mean the shop's already closed customers stop coming at nine so um yeah i think we're gonna go ahead and in this episode here we got some empty boxes so i can do some moving around so by the next episode this will be all rearranged i'll figure something out i'll do the restock in between episodes so let's do a quick recap what did we unlock today so we got shop level 20 we hired and fired someone and then we got our legendary card pack license, so that's pretty good. Uh, what's the next one? Probably this one. All your base. Unlock shop lot B. Yeah, it's um, it's gonna be a little bit of a grind. I'm gonna leave this one off here. If you guys liked it, go ahead and leave a like. Subscribe if you guys haven't yet, and I will catch you guys in the next one.